Sarah Duma here, 2014 Appalachian Trail uh, through hike attempter. And uh, this is a gear video about footwear. I don't wanna do all my gear all together in one video because it's gonna be way too long. So to get started, very important are the insoles in your shoes. The, the insoles that come with the shoes you buy in the store are usually crapola. So if they work for you, fine, but I suggest switching them out with something else. Don't go straight to the custom orthotic route unless you have benefits to cover them because they cost a ridiculous amount of money and uh, store insoles seem to work for most people. I like to use uh, the Berry Super Feet. Uh, my feet are size 10 and this is a size 9, 10 Super Feet and it fits right into my shoe. I don't have to do any cutting or trimming. Uh, and I notice uh, considerably less soreness when I have these in. So well worth it in my mind. For shoes, ba -ba -ba, Salomon Synapse Trail Shoes. These shoes were uh, originally designed with the help of Jennifer Farr Davis, who had held the Appalachian uh, Trail record for the fastest through hike, and they're great. Uh, I've used other types of trail shoes hiking, but I really like the grip on this and I don't run when I hike so I don't need a trail runner. A uh, hiking shoe is perfect. Uh, this, this shoe I've been using for the last year and a half. I've used it in desert, in mountains, in snow, um, in jungle, mud, through rivers. Fine, awesome, great. Uh, it's not waterproof. I don't want a waterproof shoes because my feet are gonna get wet and waterproof shoes will hold in all that moisture and never dry out. When they get wet, yeah, it's icky for a while, but I'll put up with it because I know eventually the heat from my feet will dry them out. And uh, so I have a couple other spare pairs of Salomon Synapse shoes during my hike. I can have them sent to me and these shoes have been broken in, so they're gonna be ready to go right off the hop. Uh, I don't care about the color. Whatever's on sale, I'm gonna buy. So I have a pair of purple ones, and I also have uh, two pairs of black ones. Uh, for trail shoe, uh, camp shoes, some people like to wear them for river crossings. I don't bother. I find it safer just to wear my hiking shoes because I'm really clumsy and I don't want to slip on rocks and fall because I'm wearing some stupid garden crocs. Uh, and some people like to wear them in camp because they're dry, perhaps, and they're more comfortable. But all I do is loosen up my laces and make them super comfortable and they feel like slippers in camp. So don't need separate trail uh, camp shoes or water crossing shoes for this person, for this girl. Uh, one thing I am bringing that are new are these uh, foam pedicure sandals. I uh, went on eBay and for $4, I got a whole pack of them shipped to me from China. Thank you, China. And I'm going to be putting some of these in my resupply boxes. These are for when I'm in hostels or if I'm using a shower at a campground. I don't want to be stepping on that slimy, dirty, gross floor. Like it's okay when you're going into the shower, but after your feet are clean, you don't want to be walking around and that crap. And then I don't want to bring my, my shoes in there and try and, try and balance and dry off my, my feet and put my socks on and blah. So these guys for showers and it's just foam i'll take this weight penalty i don't i don't know there i might have a find, figure out another purpose for them a fan well okay so next up um i got a whole bunch of stuff down here uh gaiters so uh i don't wear waterproof shoes so i'm not gonna wear waterproof gaiters i use uh these Dirty Girl Fabric Gaiters. Uh, if you order them, they come in a little package like this with a strip of Velcro. And then you just affix the Velcro to the back of your shoe. And you there's a hook in the front and you just hook it on the front. I, I hooked it backwards, but you get the idea. And da da da. Sand, twigs, pebbles, random junk, won't be getting into my socks. 
getting down between my toes and causing blisters. So highly recommend uh, Dirty Girl Gators and be sure to take proper measurements because I found out I need a custom size because I have huge honking ankles. So just some advice. So next up, I have my socks. I really like darn tough socks. Uh, I have two different sizes. I have this longer leg part ankle sock and I also have just kind of this foot sock on its own. I thought, hey, why do I need this part? I can just save some weight and get the the, the little guy, but I find with my hiking tights, because I'm tall, there's about this much gap between the end of my hiking tights and the start of my shoe, and, and I, that might be a little bit cold even with my gator on. So I will probably opt to start out with this sock, but in the summer then I'll switch to this sock. And um, I don't use their um, hiking socks from Darn Tough because they're thicker with more padding. I find I get less blisters and less problems with the socks that are designed for running and biking. And they're lighter weight and because they're thinner they dry quicker. Okay. So, oh, last, last part. Um, my socks when I'm sleeping. Um, I have really, really cold feet. And I find it really uncomfortable and difficult to sleep when my feet are freezing cold. So I bought these down socks from Goose Feet Gear. Uh, they're size medium with 100% over stuff. Uh, if you look on my trail journal under my gear tab, you'll see the weights of everything. I don't recall how much it weighs uh, off the top of my head, but these are super, super warm. And if I want, I can wear them as a warm mitten as well. Plus, one last thing, subway bags. If my shoe is soaking wet, I don't want to put dry socks into my soaking wet shoe if I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So I can just uh, put, put this on as a waterproof layer between my wet shoe and my dry sock. Or if it's really, really cold, uh, like crossing cold water and it's really rainy and cold mud. I can wear these and these will give my feet a little bit of extra warmth. Uh, you don't have to use subway bags. You can use bread bags. Some people use the grocery bags that you put your oranges into and all that stuff. But I like subway because it's the long rectangular shape. And um, I just get these free when I, when I get a sub. I just ask for a couple extra and I keep stocked up at home. So that's all my feet stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Cheers. Bye-bye.